Hello everyone. This video is a continuation of my last video where I talked about reasoning and started with series completion. As we have already covered number series, so today we will understand the concept of letter series with the help of examples. So let's get started. In these kind of problems, a series of letters of English alphabets will be given which follows a certain pattern. Your job is to recognize that pattern and answer accordingly. The best way to get started is to assign natural numbers to the 26 alphabets as shown here. This is not a hard and fast rule as you can do the assignment in any logical way you want. But this assignment will help you very much in solving problems. You can also do the assignment of numbers to the letters in reverse order as shown here. You can make other sequences of numbers and do the assignment as long as it helps you in solving your questions. Now, let us look at the type of problems that UGC NET usually asks. First, let's begin with one letter series. Consider this example 1. If we go back to the assignment, here we assign 1 to A and 4 to D. We need to add 3 to the letter A in order to get the letter D. Similarly, G has been assigned 7. Hence, in order to move from D to letter G, we add 3 to D. And in the same way, we add 3 to letter J to get the next term in the sequence. Therefore, the pattern here is that we add 3 to the preceding term in the sequence to obtain the successive term. So, M is assigned 13 and 13 plus 3 equals 16. Hence, the 16th letter here is P. Therefore, it's our answer. One other way to look at it is that we have skipped two letters between every two consecutive terms of this sequence. Either way, you will get the same answer. In the next example, we see that the sequence is formed by subtracting 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on from the assigned value to the given letters. Coming to this two letter series where each term is a combination of two letters. The first letter follows a logic and the second letter may follow the same or maybe a different logic. Let's see an example. The first two terms are A, B and D, E. The missing letter here is C, which comes in between B and D. Similarly, if we look at the second and the third term, the missing letter is F, which comes in between E and G. Therefore, we have got ourselves a rule. Take the last alphabet of the preceding term, skip one letter and start the succeeding term with the next letter. Here, after H, we have I. But we need to skip this letter. Then comes J and then K. Together they make our missing term of the sequence. In the next example, we see that the term follow a pattern which is easily visible from here. This reverse order assign assignment. Here, Z is paired with M, X with K, V with I, T with G, and therefore, R must be paired with letter E. The other way to look at it is following. Starting with Z and going to X, we skipped one letter Y. From X to V, we again skipped one letter W. Same is the case with V and T. Therefore, after TG, the next element in the sequence must be such that its first letter is the one that comes after skipping the preceding letter of T, which is S. Hence, R is the correct first letter of the last term of this sequence. The same rule is followed by the second letters M, K, I and G. And so we get E. Coming to the last part of this video, three letter series. This is similar to the previous two letter series except now we have three letters combined instead of two. In example one, we see that in the first term 
C is missing after A and B. In the second term, G is missing after E and F. In the third term of the sequence, K is missing after I and J. Same goes with M and P. O is missing in between N and P. The rest of the pattern is simple. D followed by E, H followed by I, L followed by M. Hence, P should be followed by Q, giving us this answer. In the next series, look at it pairwise. The first term is ABC. The second term has the same place value but different place value. It also contains ABC but in a different order. Each letter is shifted one place to its right. Same goes with DEF. You shift each letter one place to the right and you get FDE. Now, to find this missing term, we need to see that IGH, which is already shifted one place to the right. Therefore, we need to reverse back the process and shift each letter one place to the left. This gives us GHI. So this is the end of letter series. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Thank you.